For the last few years, we've been trying to understand what causes progression from MGAS or smoldering multiple myeloma to overt myeloma. And unfortunately, we have many patients who, at the time that we see them, when they have smoldering myeloma, we tell them, maybe you have a very high chance of progressing to myeloma, but we're not sure what are the markers. We know that there are some clinical markers, like the tumor burden, M-spike, light chain, bone marrow involvement, but what we don't know is who truly biologically will progress in their lifetime. And I think today we had so many options of understanding better that disease, whether it's the genomics, the epigenetics, the tumor microenvironment. We're starting to dissect those molecular mechanisms so that in the future, when I see that same patient, I give them a better understanding of mechanisms of progression. I can tell them for sure, you will progress in the next two years or three years because you have those biological markers and it's a better predictor of you going on to progress to myeloma. In the last few years, we've truly understood uh, the genomics of, mul of smoldering multiple myeloma, and we're starting to get better in understanding it. I think there has been multiple papers, including some of our work that we are presenting here in this meeting, where we can understand that MAP kinase mutations, MYC translocations and amplifications, as well as other mutations, are predictors of disease progression in our patients. So in the future, instead of just using your clinical markers, we add to it genomic markers, and you have clinical and genomic parameters that can predict progression. I think that that's not the only step. We have the tumor microenvironment to get better into understanding it so that, again, we add a holistic approach to it. You would say you have genomic markers, but you have a bad immune system, you will progress to myeloma, or you have neither of those, and then you may not progress to multiple myeloma. I think the best thing about thinking of the future, how do I see a patient with MGAS and smoldering myeloma being diagnosed and being managed? And my vision is that in the future we can screen early. We look at the PROMISE study, which is an exciting time for us to screen for the first time in the U.S. people to say, are you at risk of myeloma and can we prevent that from happening? And if we define MGAS early, can I potentially find a vaccine, an immunotherapy, something that prevents completely myeloma from happening so that in the future maybe we will never diagnose overt myeloma maybe everyone will be diagnosed with MGAS and then we prevent it. And I think of maybe something like measles where you can give a vaccine and you do not develop the, the measles itself.